It's time for Minecraft Bingo. I'm on my own looking at seed 6900, one of this week's bingo seeds for five in a row. And I think the right column is the thing to go for on this one, so we need to keep our eye out for a good bit of sugarcane, some leather, some gunpowder. And so when we're in the skybox, let's take a good look around at what we've got. Spruce saplings should be easy to come by. Yeah, there's tons of spruce around. Sugarcane... I am not seeing, but there is a swamp kind of back over there. So if I follow the river to the west, to the Mega Taiga, and then hang a left, uh, that seems like it could be a good place to head. So I think I'll try to do that. And yeah, the cactus should also be relatively straightforward if a little time consuming to go and find somewhere. So I'm not too worried about that one. Let's make sure we get our spruce sapling. And other than cooking up the clay pot, hmm, if there happened to be a witch house in the swamp and I didn't even have to cook up the clay pot, then I wouldn't need stone for anything on this card. It's extremely unlikely, uh, but I think I am going to hold on to the wood and not actually make tools yet. <laughs> All right, got that. Great. And head over there just in case, because I always look for those rare opportunities on a bingo card where you can kind of, I don't know, skip typically major steps. And so skipping having to make stone tools would be kind of cool. All right, we're looking for sugarcane regardless. I don't think I see a witch hut over here. I also need to get some stuff that's over here as well. Um, yeah, I was trying to find the best place to grab the, the stuff. <laughs> so I guess I'll just grab this from the corner here. And see, yeah, I guess with my wood, I could also go sailing to try to find the desert somewhere. That sounds reasonable. And also sailing will help us find the sugarcane in all likelihood. Do I see any sugarcane yet? Um, not just yet. Let's go ahead and make the crafting table. And I'm going to need some sticks probably. And I'm going to need the boat. And let's imagine that I am going to have to mine some stone at some point to cook things up. Although I do see another witch hut over here. And so anything's possible. And I'm going to go ahead, just in case it's all that I need, I'm going to make a wooden axe. Because it's possible I could use that to kill a creeper if I do find a witch hut over here. And sugarcane, sugarcane, sugarcane. I still have not seen, and I'm going to need six pieces of it, I believe. And I don't see any over there. So yeah, I feel like I'm doing a bit of running around like a chicken with the head cut off kind of thing. Where <laughs> I'm not getting any items. Hoping to not have to spend any resources to get any items. And it's a very risky strategy. But hey, after having some success earlier this week in other endeavors, I'm up for a risky strategy. All right. Uh, it seems that I am going to need some other stuff. I think I am just going to go straight for the furnace, though. And not bother... Yeah, with making a stone pickaxe, and we'll just see how it goes. So let me do that. Let me go ahead and leave this cooking. And I'll leave that there, and let's go try to head over this way and see. There might be desert. Yeah, there's desert over here. So I could just grab the cactus. And... Yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going to find the gunpowder. It looks like there might be a little cave over there and so that might be a place that we could get something that we need okay show me a cactus i see cactus and a little bit of food wouldn't hurt so let's grab that okay i got the cactus that'll be item number three i need the leather right i forgot all about it please drop some leather horse so i don't have to kill another one thank you and still haven't seen the sugar cane so that's still very problematic. Uh, but let's take a peek over here. Let's do kind of a 180. Pretty sure I saw a cave system somewhere right over here. 
Uh, that's not a cave. This is a cave. Uh, but it's not a deep enough cave. Eh, there could be something over here. Where there could be darkness and monsters and creepers and all that good stuff. I'm not going to go all the way down there. So we'll look somewhere else since we still need to get the sugar cane. And I think it'll be faster to run this way. Yeah, because my boat's back over here. Got to take the boat back. All right. And so we'll be able to craft up the clay pot. We will be able to smelt up the cactus green. It does look like there might be a something to get over there. So I'll check that out. Okay, this comes out, this goes in. I need to hold on to my tools for once, potentially. And I don't need to do any crafting with that, so I can do this. And I guess I will pick this up. There we go. And we'll try going over here and see if we can find our gunpowder. And then, yeah, sugar cane. I always forget how much sugar cane can be kind of a luck of the draw type of thing to find. There are a number of seeds in bingo. Uh, it doesn't apply as much to blackout or 25 minute challenge cards because eventually the odds kind of catch up to you. Uh, but when you're just trying to do, you know, like a short bingo in five minutes, if you happen to get unlucky in the direction that you head or the world that you spawn in or whatever with respect to the sugar cane, I see sugar cane. Okay, great. Uh, it's not going to be enough sugar cane for both thingies yet. There is more over there, though. Okay. Um, I think it'll be faster to go through here. I think I was wrong. Let's make sure I time my jump. Okay, it's not enough sugar cane. Is there any more sugar cane right over here? Uh, yes, there is. So let's go grab this one. And is there any creeper in here? I don't see a creeper in there, sadly. Or a dungeon spawner where we can get the gunpowder. We can go ahead and craft up the book. And then I just got to dive down into a cave and hope that I uh, see a creeper I can kill. And then I can grab the gunpowder and just craft it in my inventory, basically. Um, even if, like, the other monsters are attacking me. So, yeah, let's just go all out and just try to see if we can find a cave where there might be a creeper. Come on, creeper cave! Uh, the skeletons are the skeletons. The wolves are not angry at any nearby skeletons, which is a shame because if they were, then that would probably mean that there was a cave right there and we could possibly have some allies as we hop down into it. But it does appear there's a cave this way. Uh, it's not a cave, it's a lake. Gosh darn it. So many lakes. When I do exploration and tactics, well... <laughs> Assuming that customized train generation comes back. Do I think there'll be a creeper down here? Looks like it might be big. Oh, there's a creeper right there. Uh, how do I get there? I think... Hmm. Let's take a risk. Actually, let's do this. Haha. -ha. If I do that and then swim down, and do I have any blocks? I do have a few blocks, and I hardly need any. So if I do this, and then this, there's the creeper. Um, I think I can hop down here, and I can hop across here. There's the creeper, and if the creeper falls, could he still drop gunpowder? I think so. I think it's a common drop. Um, okay, he dropped it. Great. I think he dropped it. Yes, he did. Great. Awesome. Fireworks rockets, 824. I don't think that's a winning time, but it was not bad, and I'm happy about how I approached this creeper. Um, I feel like that was reasonably fast and creative. I suppose I could have just jumped down, ran over here, hoped the creeper falls on my head. I managed to avoid the explosion and still managed to kill him with the axe. So that might have been a better strategy. But yeah, overall, I'm not unhappy with that one. And we managed to get a sniper bingo, which is always fun. So in any case, I hope as always that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Minecraft bingo. Bye-bye.